And finally, tonight, the retired doctor living out his dream. For 30 years, Mark Plotkin practiced medicine, but after retiring, he found a new way to fulfill his passion for helping people and saving lives. When I was a kid growing up, the shore was where you came in the summer. I remember seeing the lifeguards going out in the boats, and it looked like a pretty cool thing to do. So he decided to follow that dream, training for a lifeguard position with the Atlantic City Beach Patrol in New Jersey. But at 68 years old, he worried he was too old to qualify. Turns out there were no upper age limits. And they have a rookie academy where they teach you how to be a lifeguard. The tryout wasn't easy. He had to go through five phases of testing, including running, swimming, and ocean rowing. But Mark made it, becoming the Beach Patrol's oldest ever rookie lifeguard. There is a whole culture here, a lot younger people than me. They've taken me in with open arms. They've been very kind to me. In fact, Mark fits in so well, his fellow lifeguards gave him the nickname Mark the Beast. I'm here six days a week. I'm going to go through the end of the season. It's just been a blast. They're paying me to hang out at the beach. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Our thanks to WPVI for that story. Also, before we go tonight, we wanted to take a moment to say thank you to Doug Roselli. Weekend to soak up the last rays of summer. In Atlantic City, one lifeguard's rookie season on the beach is coming to an end. Matt O'Donnell has this story in this week's Art of Aging. One, two. After a 30-year career in medicine, it didn't take Dr. Mark Plotnick long to figure out how he wanted to spend his retirement. When I was a kid growing up, the shore was where you came in the summer. I remember seeing the lifeguards going out in the boats, and it looked like a pretty cool thing to do. So on July 1st, he became a lifeguard with the Atlantic City Beach Patrol. They're paying me to hang out at the beach. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. He was worried he might be too old. Turns out there were no upper age limits. His neighbor, Deputy Chief Dave Russo, has been part of the Beach Patrol since 19. 77. He did everything I asked him to do, the train, and he made it. And there are a lot of requirements. You gotta row the boat to the flag, turn properly. You gotta run a half mile in 345. You gotta swim 200 meters in four minutes and 500 meters in less than 10 minutes. They have a rookie academy where they teach you how to be a lifeguard. The main responsibility is to watch the water and you're making an assessment. Is this person okay? I've learned how to look for riptides. Plotnick says he's learned a lot from the more experienced guards. There is a whole culture here. Here, a lot younger people than me. It's been really an eye-opener, a really great experience. They've taken me in with open arms. They've been very kind to me. Mark's fitting great with everybody. They call him Mark the Beast. <laughs> He's just a great lifeguard. Russo says AC lifeguards make about 1,000 rescues a year. We definitely need lifeguards. Big shortage all over the country. If you could pass the test, we need you. It's a great job. You're helping people, saving lives. It's what it's all about. I'm here six days a week. I'm going to go through the end of the season. It's just been a blast. A blast indeed. Matt O'Donnell, Channel 6 Action News.